Hello, hello, Steve, Canadian Sasquatch, coming at you with something a little different. Um, I need to build some extension cords, so I figured I'd bring you guys along. Uh, simply, we are going to make, the, the first one we're going to make is going to be for a light. So like the lights you hang on your ceiling. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Um, and I'm gonna bring you guys along. So, one of these guys. Right there. As you can see, it's a standard light socket type thing. So we're gonna turn it into a, an extension cord. We've got bits and bobs. So the first thing you're gonna need is, of course, this guy, light socket. No problem. The next thing you're gonna need is the thing that you put it into. So this is just a four by four octagon, round it, whatever you wanna call it, uh, container that this guy is just gonna sit on top of. You'll need a clamp for the cord going into the junction box here. Electrical tape. And of course, extension cord. The reason we're doing this ourselves is quite often you can't get the right length of cord or they don't even make extension cords based out of these guys. It's like yeah you can get some other types of lights and whatnot that you can move around and stuff but I want to get some of these type <clears throat> specifically for hanging from the ceiling but being able to move it to exactly where I want it. Just a simple, this is a Extension cord, 16 gauge, 15 foot extension cord. You've got the three prong, you got the uh, part that it goes into. For tools, I've got some uh, wire strippers here. Lineman pliers, side cutters, needle nose pliers with some side cutters. A couple of screwdrivers here, Phillips, flathead, razor blade, whatever. And a multimeter for just in case. The first thing we're gonna do is unravel a bit of this cord here. This is the end that we're going to keep because we need to be able to plug this into an outlet so that we can turn it on. Very first thing I'm going to do here is female side right here at the end for this one. Just like that. So we just cut this guy off. Now that we've cut the end off we need to strip off part of the uh, insulation here. Take some of this off, do about a good six inches, lightly score the cable here all the way around. My knife is pretty dull, I need to fix that. So there we go. We now have our three cables that we're going to use. We got positive, negative, and a ground. Now the next thing we need to do though to make this a go is we need to take off about three quarters of an inch, 12 right there, and a little bit further down, right there, like that, and pull it through. And then to the 12, around right there, pull it off. 12, pull it through, there we go. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to twist these guys. Like so how we want to do this is we want the black wire goes around the brass one. And when you're screwing them down, you want to make sure you loop the wire clockwise because when you screw this down, it goes clockwise and that will make sure as you're tightening it down, everything goes in the correct direction. The same thing with the white wire. Turn it clockwise and screw it down. Nice and tight. Oh. So, the thing I forgot to do, run the wire through here. So let's undo all this work. Need to pop it through this guy. So these side ones are smaller. You take your lineman pliers, find the one you want, and bust it through. And the other part you need to do is get this guy on because your cable also needs to go through the little clamp guy. Feed the wires through the clamp. And this is much easier to do uh, before you trim everything off. Feed these wires through here. 
for here and then just lock everything into place. And we're going to tighten it down. Just lightly tightening it at this point. And then on the inside here, the nut guy, hopefully you guys can see that, has these little rings and you can just use a screwdriver to lock it down like that. Now we take our Phillips again and just tighten these guys good and tight. So what this does is it locks the the cord into place so it can't move in or out or anything like that. We can go back to this guy. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And then this one we'll screw into this one. I don't want to screw it in too tight though because we need to get this guy in. This one needs to come out just a little bit more. And there you have it. Extension cord for a light bulb. Guess now we need to try it out. I don't have any light bulbs. We've got our light bulb that we're going to be using with it. So it's a, it's a big ass light bulb. So it's basically just three LED panels that you can adjust the uh, angle at. I've got two more of these up in my garage here and they're absolutely wonderful and I wanted a third one but we don't actually have a place to plug one in and since we don't own the place we're not gonna spend the money to add one and this way I can move it wherever I want it's about to get very very you know what instead of up like that let's do it like that so it's not as bright maybe not touching the guy there Alrighty, here we go. Boom! So now we can place this light wherever we wish. So that's uh, the very first. Uh, that thing's really bright. The very first um, extension cord that I'm building here. And in the next video, we're gonna do another one. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that uh, bell down there as well so you'll be notified when that video comes out. And uh, we'll see you then. Cheers, everybody.